Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is Imran Ali Khan, lecturer in the Department of English. Today, it's our seventh lecture, and the discussion agenda for today's class is a brief introduction about William Golding, the world William Golding experienced, events of the Second World War, Lord of the Flies, the inspiration for writing Lord of the Flies, the philosophical influence on William Golding's, facts about the novel, and main points of the Lord of the Flies, and at the end, William Golding's message. So now let's talk about William Golding. William Golding was a British novelist born on September 191911 and died in 1993. Uh, his parents wanted him to study science, but his personal bent of mind was towards literature. So he studied science and English at Oxford and after graduation he became a teacher. But when the Second World War started he joined Royal Navy to serve his country. And he was also involved during the war in the pursuit of sinking Germany's battleship, the Bismarck. When the war ended, he returned to teaching and started writing. In 1983, he won a Nobel Prize in Literature, which made him most popular and influential British writer who emerged after the Second World War. The world William Golding knew. As William Golding grew up in Second World War, that is in 1939 to, to 1945, so he had the opportunity to witness the dark side of human nature because during war the cruel side, the dark side of human that is practically in action. And he also saw the fall of France to Nazi Germany in 1940. During this, during the war, Britain feared an invasion as it was a world war. So due to that fear, she made a plan to evacuate children to other countries. Uh, simil in the, similarly, in the meantime, uh, in 1940, a German boat torpedoed a British ship carrying children, killing the boys, and as a result, the British government has to suspend the evacuation program. Now, let's come to the events of the Second World War. As we know that the Second World War started in 1939. Britain joined France in war against Germany. In 1940, the fall of France happened. 
1942 Italy joined Germany In 1940 Japan attacked Pearl Harbor as a result USA has to declare war on Japan and it's it paved her entry to the war In 1944 day day normandy landings happen it was an operation it was an operation and associated airborne strikes which happened on 6 june 1944 and these air strikes were made by the allied in the operation overlord during the second world war in 1945 the bombing of dresden the bombing of dresden was british american aerial bombing attack on the city of dresden the state of germany during the second world war in 1945 the european celebrated their victory in the war and this victory has a major role when the atomic bomb was dropped in hiroshima that killed immediately 80000 people and later on the death toll increased to 135000 people so these were the happenings of the second world war now let's come to the lord of the flies So regarding Lord of the Flies William Golding says it was simply what seemed sensible for me to write after the war when everyone was thanking god they were not nazis i had seen enough to realize that every single one of us could be nazis so what william golding wants to convey is that that evil exist in every individual so it is the society that control the evil side of individual so apparently wearing the garb of civilization we think that we are more human we are more good but when our greed when our greed that is unsatiated so that compels us to be more wild and cruel in achieving our goals and objectives so that is the reason that william golding says that after war, war after war everyone was thinking that he was not nazi means he was not cruel but the fact is that this cruelty exists in every individual this is something inherent in human nature and when they, when an opportunity arrives this evil side of humanity that comes to the fourth 
and this is what he practically experienced during world war because in the war it is the dark side of human nature that prevails now come to the inspire inspiration for writing lord of the flies there are two things which we need to mention here the first one is his teaching experience because he taught to the children and children are as there is general assumption that children are innocent and the second one is his experience in the war uh in teaching experience once william golding allowed his class of boys to have total freedom in the debate but he had to intervene because absolute freedom which he had given to his boys that has created disorder so he had to intervene in order to restore the order uh so what he wants to convey he wants to convey that when there is no system to control individual as a result anarchy will be created disorder will be created so system should be there structure should be there to control the wild nature of humans the second one is his experience in the war as i already discussed that before war everything was in proper order but after war or during the war the evil side of human nature prevails and that evil side is wild that is cruel it has nothing to do with humanity it has nothing to do with kindness it has nothing to do with care so this experience made william golding realize that human nature is more inclined towards evil if there is no outside order if there is no outside system to control the next inspiration for writing william uh, for writing lord of the flies is a response to uh rm belentine's coral island so lord of the flies is in version of coral island in coral island belentine he influenced uh, he emphasized that uh, the 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 boys who were marooned they were encountered by evil the boys were encountered by the evil in the coral island but they they tried to uh mitigate the influence of evil while in lord of the flies the boys do not encounter the evil rather william golding says that evil is not something outside rather it exists in the boys in the society in the human nature so it was a critical response to uh, belentine 
coral island and next point is the philosophical question about human nature it is also a source of inspiration for writing this novel uh, there are two questions that human is good at uh, good at nature and the second one is human human being is evil by nature so the first one good by nature evil the second one is evil by nature one school of philosophy believes that human beings are good by nature as was presented uh, in the coral island by belentine because when the boys were encountered by evil they tried to subside the inf- evil influence of that evil so that is belentine wanted to convey that human beings are good by nature so similarly the second one is human being is evil by nature and that finds its expression in lord of the flies the boys when they are maroon in the island there is no elder there is no system to control them so these the, the boys who came apparently from civilized world they break into disorder and anarchy they even kill each other so that is the expression that evil exists inside us that human beings are evil by nature if there is no system to control them so they will drift into anarchy and disorder and the next point is philosophical influence on william golding's uh john hobbes the english philosopher has a major influence on william golding john hobbes philosophy is that man is by nature selfish he thinks for himself he thinks for his own benefit due to this uh, selfish nature human being our man is constantly at war with other men and uh, due to this inherent evil in human nature this is due to this selfishness in human nature so human being fears violent death and this fear of violent death is the sole motivation to create civilization and in order to control man he needs absolute sovereignty to avoid british behavior so this is this was all about philosophical influence on william golding's now facts about the novel lord of the flies was rejected 21 times before it was published and it was his first novel published in 1944 sorry 1954 but at that time it didn't get any popularity it was not a successful one until 1960s and in 1990s till 2000 it was uh, on the american library association list of the most of the 100 most challenge books main points about lord of the flies 
Lord of the Flies is is set in mid 1940s when Europe was inflamed by war. So a plane carrying British school boys is mistaken for military aircraft and is shot down. As I told you in in the early part of this lecture that uh, British government has a plan to evacuate children to other countries. But a German ship torpedoed a British ship carrying school boys thus killing all the children and as a result the British government has to suspend the evacuation program. So in Lord of the Flies a plane carrying British children is mistaken for a military aircraft and is shot down. But the boys survived the crash and they try to create a society. They try to govern themselves. And William Golding's message, what he wants to convey, what is the theme, the central idea of writing Lord of the Flies? Uh, William Golding says that the theme is an attempt to trace the defects of society back to the defects of human nature. In other words, what we see in a society, that is the incarnation of our human nature, the shortcomings, the weaknesses, the faults which we have in our nature. So that finds its expression in the society. So this is what William Golding once wanted to convey by writing Lord of the Flies. So this was all about today's lecture. See you next time. Thank you so much.